All right, so the throw method is quite simple. Um, the main idea behind it is that we can throw an exception to the generator. Okay, so it's not going to be an exception that is thrown um, inside the main program. It is actually sent to the generator and it will happen inside the generator unless it is caught, right? So um, the generator will stop if the exception is not handled, right? So of course, um, the exception will kind of um, stop all execution inside the generator. So here is an example of how we might uh, put that in practice. So let's say we have a generator that generates random numbers. Uh, let's say we want 100 numbers generated and we are sending, uh, we are yielding random numbers. Now this yield function can uh, trigger an exception if it is sent by the program that is calling that method right and here in our generator we are are catching that exception and printing out a message now how does that work in our main program let's say we have our for loop that manages the generator and we are receiving values now if our value is five let's say we want to throw an exception uh, for whatever reason so we are throwing a value error cannot have five, right? That is the, um, the message. And if not, we are simply printing the uh, index and the number. All right, so let's try to put this in our code and see how many um, exceptions we can handle. So we have, first of all, import random. We will be using the random um, library. Then let's uh, define our generate numbers generator function. Here we have i equals zero. We're going to have a while loop um, i smaller than 100. Then i plus equals one. And then we are generating a random number. So random dot uh, dot uh, randint between um, let's say one and 10. Let's say zero and 10. All right, so we are generating our number, then we are um, going to try to yield that random number um, inside a try, but we are managing any exceptions that might occur. We are printing an exception has occurred. Okay, so if we are receiving any error, we are catching it and printing this message. Okay, now um, in our main program, I'm going to say i equals zero just to keep an, a counter of the numbers that we are getting. Gen equals generate numbers. Okay, now here we want to simply increment the number for each passage in our loop and then throw an exception, uh, throw an error only if we get to the value five. Okay, so we're going to have a for loop for num in gen. Okay i plus equals one, then we're going to say if num equals five, in that case, we say gen dot throw a value error cannot have five. Okay, but if we don't get number five, then we will simply print an f string, let's say i num inside curly braces. Okay, so we're just printing the value that we receive from our generator. All right, so let's go ahead and run this code. All right, and we can see that in 100 numbers from uh, 0 to 10, we are actually receiving a few exceptions, right? So um, this was a um, number 5 exception that was handled in our uh, generator. Okay, so we can see the message number five, it is still printed because um, we get the value, even though we throw an exception, we still print that message. Okay, otherwise, we could simply say um, something like else. And then in that case, it wouldn't be printed and we would just skip those values. So for example, here, 82 was two, 83 was five, but we get an exception and 84 was three. All right, so that, um, you know, that kind of handles that. So it's quite um, an easy concept. We just simply 
um, tell the generator that something happened and we can, um, you know, there was a problem and here is an exception that it may or may not handle.